I'm like calling my friends. I'm like, I don't know who to call. And I don't want them to be like, oh my God, get the corona away from me. It starts with like a cold and then it turns into like flu symptoms. And then all of a sudden you get this respiratory cough. Me and my older sister haven't talked in two years. I called her and I was like crying. I'm like, Amber, I have corona. Guys, as you know, the coronavirus is like crazy right now. Um, so I just thought it would be kind of fun to hop on here really quickly and show you guys what I am stocking up on at the grocery store for this coronavirus. Okay, so before we start this video, I just wanted to take a moment to send all of my prayers and my love and positivity to everyone who's affected by the coronavirus at this time. Um, this pandemic is crazy. I did not think it would get this out of control. Um, and I just think that it's a really, this is a really, really hard time for everyone. Um, people are out of jobs, people are struggling to pay bills, people are getting sick, people are dying. Like it's a very, very stressful time. Like even just stepping out and going into um, the grocery store right now, like it gives you anxiety. Like, you know what I mean? Like when you're laying in bed at night and you have a scratch in your throat, you're like, am I getting the virus? Like, you know what I mean? It's just crazy. So I just want you all to know that your minds are powerful. Positivity is powerful. Do your best to stay positive in this time and just send out love and light to everyone around you and just give positive energy to the world because we need it right now 12 seconds later hello world wake me up to another good good morning time to go got that smile upon my face cause there's excitement in the chase this I know yeah I'm going for face masks and there literally are none i played myself congratulations you played yourself i'm being looked at like a free i just wanted to show you guys literally what it's like in denver colorado like it's colorado it's not la literally denver colorado okay so one thing we can do is go get bella bones because she needs some because she's bored the quarantine got her like bored. literally pretend this is lysol and this is me me with if anyone gets within six feet of me i'm like <laughs> Literally, I don't think you guys understand how funny it is to vlog in public because of how many fucking faces I get. <laughs> I really want to try. Which one do I get? Oh, there's like five. Let's try both and I'll do a taste test for you guys. It's actually not that bad. Okay, let's do both because I love you guys. You guys are like, is this for you or for us? I think it's for you. I'm like, no, I love you guys. It's for you. I literally never eat bad, but why do I kind of want to bake a cake? Just like for fun, like decorate cupcakes. Okay, but I literally can't pick. Do I get strawberry, yellow cake and cupcake, or premium cake and cupcake? Let's do this, because there's less left, which means it's probably the best. Okay, but now we have to get frosting. I want that. I want yellow. The real question is, what do we need to bake this? Because literally no one cooks in our house, so like, will we have any of this? Okay. Grand plan may be fucked over because there's literally no oil. So what do I do? Cry? Like, we cannot use avocado oil in a funfetti fucking cake. That was God's way of helping me not get fat in this time. So we have to put this back because there's literally no oil. Hell nah. Someone literally just fucking coughed near me and I'm like, bitch, cover that shit. This is not a time to play. I'm literally not playing with these people. Bitch, what? Six feet. Six feet. Way too close to me. Yeah, no, it's Six feet. Six feet. Six feet. She's so cute. I love her. Can I get her a face mask? Okay, guys. So I just got back in the car. First thing I'm going to do hand sanitizer. Probably way too much but better safe than sorry. Okay, I know this is extra and I really don't care. Next thing we're gonna do, disinfectant wipes. Sorry, honey, but you about to get wiped down too, okay? Foam, even though I didn't touch it, but still. Maybe it like air particles came off and like had coronavirus in them. Not air particles, cause it's not airborne, but like, you know what I mean. You're Robert Einstein. Keys, check. It's your turn now. <laughs> We made it back home. God bless. I'm like, but I don't want these to come off. They're cute and warm and fun. Once you take earmuffs off, your shit is cold as hell. So I wanted to use this time to talk to you guys about my experience. So I was really, 
really sick all during this coronavirus and it was the first few days that like it started becoming like a big issue and everyone was freaking out is when I got so sick I literally felt so weird this is how it started I felt really sick and like I had like a cold like one day I woke up and I was so tired and cardio was really hard and I felt like I had a little something and then all of a sudden the next day I was fine I still felt a little weird but it wasn't like anything bad okay then the following day i get up i'm slow moving i feel kind of achy and like i feel a little weird and then all of a sudden i come home after eating chipotle and i'm like dad i don't feel good like i feel really weird and then all of a sudden you guys if you have had a panic attack before you know what i'm talking about my whole body goes freezing cold the whole body like it literally i had anxiety i felt this panic coming like within my body like i literally was like dad i think i'm having a panic attack i'm having a panic attack why am i surrounded by these dramatic people on the time <laughs> like i literally felt like i was legitimately having a fucking panic attack there's no other way to explain it and then all of a sudden my stomach starts hurting and i'm like dad i don't feel so good and then all of a sudden bleh, i just projectile vomit all over the table and i'm like <laughs> and then i get up my dad's like don't throw up there why are you gonna throw up there i'm like yeah, dad, like I literally, it was my goal today to throw up on this table. Like I really wanted to. The toilet or the sink, no, not an option. I really wanted this table. Like, <laughs> so then I get up and I'm like, fuck, like I need to run to the bathroom. So I get up and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And then I just, bleh, like I'm talking, like this is gross. And I know I'm like all cute and girly and stuff. And like, hee hee hee, like I literally bleh, projectile vomit. Like, you know, when it like you see in the movies, it's like, it's just like coming out and like, like the force is like pushing it out in a circular motion. My entire fucking wall is painted with Chipotle chunks. It was fucking disgusting. And I literally am like, holy shit. Like I'm like running to the toilet. And then before I even can open the door, I throw up again, like projectile, you guys. And I'm telling you, all I had eaten that day was literally like four bites of a chipotle salad i couldn't even finish it because my stomach was hurting me so much all of this ch food's coming out and i'm like i don't know where this food's coming from because i haven't eaten today sis like the fuck and so then i open the door i fucking throw up again all over the sink all over the wall we literally had a julia lynn sandoval throw up chipotle painting on our entire wall like i should be arrested for graffiti at this point because that's literally what it looked like <sighs> that's disgusting then I finally get to the toilet and I throw up and then it's like literally the worst thing ever is when you cannot stop throwing up and it's uncontrollably and it's just coming up through your stomach like and you just can't like and I literally at this point was like throwing up bile because there's nothing left in my stomach and I'm just like like it was awful. You were so dramatic. I just start crying. I'm like meh like what if I have corona like I'm like freaking the fuck out. My dad's like clean your fucking throw up up. I'm like thanks dad love you like and then he's like i have a date coming over <laughs> you guys i threw up all over the entire house before my dad's date came over i'm like welcome to the sandoval's <laughs> like you made the right choice by going on a date with my dad we are so accepting here we love to share our throw up with everyone i have to like go clean it up and i'm like trying because i feel like ass okay so i'm like trying to like pick it up the throw up because my dad was like pick up the chunks i'm like ew that word Ugh. I'm like so scared because I'm literally like, Dad, what if I have Corona? Like, like what I did? <laughs> like, I think I have Corona. Ugh. Oh, will you <laughs> shut the fuck up? Like, I'm freaking the fuck out. Okay, because imagine you literally projectile vomiting during a pandemic where there's a fucking virus that's killing people. I literally was like, I was freaking out like don't sit here and tell me that you would not be freaking out too after that I stayed in bed literally for like ever Why are you so lazy? What? What? I was so scared I literally was like calling my mom she wouldn't answer I was like my dad was no help because if you know my dad it's my dad like I'm like calling my friends I'm like I don't know who to call but then like also I'm like kind of embarrassed so I called like one friend but then I didn't want to call other friends because then I don't want them to be like oh my god get the corona away from me like do you know what I mean because like I'm like oh what if I have it and so I'm like all embarrassed oh boo -hoo. let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin me and my older sister long story haven't talked in two years okay because of some bs if you guys want me to do a story time on that actually i don't know if i should we might need to keep that in the family i don't know i called her and i was like crying i'm like amber 
She's like, bitch, you don't have fucking corona. I'm like, I have it. Do I need to go to the hospital? What do I do? What do I do? I gotta be, yeah, blah, blah, blah. She's like, can you please chill? Like, you're fucking fine. I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm like in the fetal position. Literally, this is me. I'm like, you are so dramatic. It pisses me off. Finally, I'm like, okay, bitch, get your shit together. I finished cleaning it all up. My dad's like, okay, you, you picked up the chunks. I'll at least disinfect. Like, go downstairs. I'm like, so I go downstairs and literally for the next like three days, I'm just in bed, like sick. And it's so crazy because like, I literally thought I had the coronavirus. I'm not kidding you because I read that it starts with like a cold and then it turns into like flu symptoms. And then all of a sudden you get this respiratory cough and all this stuff. And I was like, great, the respiratory cough's coming next. Who the hell do you think you are? But I never got it. All I know is that I don't think I had the coronavirus. <laughs> during this sickness and even now like i went out today and i'm like keeping my distance keeping my hands clean like all of that and i feel completely fine today and this is like the first day i've really like stepped out right but during this time that i felt a, even just a little bit sick i literally was door dashing all my food i'm like <laughs> not sponsored i literally was like not leaving my room even with my family like i'd stay in my room like i didn't want to risk getting anyone sick so as i was saying earlier i guess like what i want to stress to you guys today is that like like if you can do your best to stay inside you guys like it's not worth it because yes sure you're young maybe and maybe like you could possibly not die from this thing but like it's about other people like it's not necessarily about you it's about other people passing away other people dying other people getting infected getting sick people are out of jobs people are losing money they can't pay their bills this is just so much that each and every single one of us right now need to do our part in making sure that we contribute to helping everyone right now. We need to come together as a team and as a, the US and as the world and come together and help each other out. Like we really do. My best advice to all of you guys, stay inside as much as possible. Like quarantine yourself as much as possible. Don't go out if you don't need to. Do not go hang out with friends. Like just stay home. Keep your hands clean. Like disinfect everything. If you go touch something at the store, make sure you're washing your hands right after hand sanitizer like everything keep it clean okay stay within like very good distance if you guys didn't hear me earlier like six feet six feet stay within a distance of other people it's very important um it's what's happening is it's not airborne but these particles are coming out like i'm talking right now and little particles are could be coming out of my mouth of spit let's say i'm someone's talking next to me or they cough <laughs> or they sneeze and they're at the store and they're close to me and that comes like lands in my eye or lands on my hand and then i touch my face or someone touches a product and they had coughed on their hand and they're sick and then I touch my face I get sick okay it's that simple it's spreading like a fucking wildfire okay I need you guys to please be safe for yourself for everyone else for me for the world for God like please do your best to do your part okay we all have a part in this and we all need to make sure that we're pitching in so I just want to acknowledge everyone and send them all of my my love and positivity and light and just let you guys know that like we are gonna get through this and maybe you go to the store and like you can't even step outside without having anxiety and being scared that you're gonna get this virus like I get it basically like we just need to take the time to focus on what actually matters in life like for the first time I've talked to my sister in two years like this brought us together so yes it's so shitty but within every bad time there's always something positive do you know what I mean before I would just get so depressed because I'm like I need more like I'm still living at home like all my friends are living in mansions and like crushing it and like I don't have enough followers like I don't have enough money blah 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 like and it's like that shit doesn't fucking matter like these times make us remember that health like be grateful to be healthy right now are you if you're healthy that's a blessing be grateful to wake up and have another day some people aren't given this opportunity and given this blessing something so simple but such a big deal because guess what all that shit doesn't even matter if you don't have your health be grateful for your family for your health so you have to use this time as a character building season to re-center and refocus and really focus on what your priorities are i think it's a really good time for us to kind of like just self-reflect and like we have to be alone a lot right now so focus on the emotional and the mental bullshit that everyone keeps sweeping under the rug and not fixing it's like now it's time to like actually fix it we can stop and smell the roses and get out of this like going through the motions in our hectic daily lives and really really sit and work on ourselves and i think this is the 
best time to do so. So use this time, get organized, clean your room, do things to make your mental health better. If you can work out at home, I suggest doing so. I need to get on it. I've been a little lazy, but I was sick too. So I'm still slowly getting over that. That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Is it, can I hear it again? I love you guys so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.